One of the most common things that people do is to maybe speak over my head and ask a question that very directly relates to me, my wants, my, my preferences. And fortunately, you know, the people who I tend to spend time with um, are, you know, very aware that I can speak for myself and their answer is usually something like, well, gosh, yeah, I, I don't know, I guess you should ask her. Um, and so I think that that's one of the most common mis misconceptions and things that I see, you know, something else that I see is that, and it's it's kind of a, a hand in hand sort of, of thing. I, I've had people who almost treat me childlike, which is is kind of interesting. Again, I don't know if it if it harkens to the my my brain power and not not knowing um, what my cognitive function is. But I've had people pat me on the head, which I don't think any of us would would appreciate. Um, but then you know, I I think that the my my sort of concept about the world is that. The world is, is largely and mostly full of people who are well-intentioned and who are um, really kind-hearted um, at the center of who they are and want to do the right things and say the right things. And I've experienced a lot of kindnesses. And in fact, I think that my, my physical vulnerabilities have been another gift in that they allow me to see those kindnesses from people every day. People who stop and open the door for me or ask me if there's something that I need. Um, and so that I think has been something in my life that I've really appreciated and that's given me a really positive outlook on our society and the people living in it.